Now in this lesson, we're gonna focus on getting signed up to use Microsoft 365 Copilot Pro and then get up and going. So my name is Victor Cuevas and I'm the founder of The Knowledge Jar. In this channel, you're gonna learn about how to use AI for your business, job, or personal use. We also have a free newsletter and a free ad community, which I'll leave in the links in the comments below. So let's get started. Now, to get started using Copilot Pro, you're gonna need the following a subscription to Copilot. Now, this subscription costs $20 per month and provides access to enhanced features like party access to GPT-4 and faster AI image creation. Now, you're also gonna need a Microsoft 365 subscription. While Copilot Pro can be used with the web version of Microsoft 365, having a subscription allows access to Copilot Pro with a suite of Microsoft applications such as Word and Excel. Now, if you have a business account already, then you're gonna need Copilot for Microsoft 365 Business, which has a different set of requirements and costs $30 per month. In this lesson, we're gonna focus on Microsoft Copilot Pro for individuals. So starting from the main page at microsoft.com, we're gonna click on Microsoft 365 link on the top left of our screen. I'm gonna click on See Plans and Pricing. I need to scroll down. Now you're gonna find pricing plans if paid yearly, or paid on a monthly basis. Now, if this is for an individual license, then it's okay to choose Microsoft 365 Personal. And if you need one for the Familia, then choose Microsoft 365 Family. Either one of these subscriptions covers the Microsoft 365 subscription requirement that I mentioned earlier. We still need a Copilot subscription. So let's head back to Microsoft.com. I'm gonna click on the search bar. I'm gonna type in Copilot Pro, hit enter. I'm gonna click on four individuals. I'm gonna scroll down and you can see it's $20 per month. Now I can start my free trial. Now we're taken to the payment page. Make sure you're using the email address associated with your Microsoft 365 account. Now I'm gonna click on the start trial and pay later. All right, I'm active. I can now start the web version of Copilot, but I do see an option to activate Copilot for my apps. Right now I'm gonna activate Microsoft 365 desktop apps. So I'll click on this link right here. It brings me to a document on how to find and enable missing Copilot button in Microsoft 365 apps. So it should have this button right here, Copilot. I need to make sure that I'm using the correct account and step two, refresh your license. So what I'll do is I will open up Excel, file more account. It'll bring up this screen and I'm gonna click on update license, sign in. So I'm gonna restart. You can now see I have the Copilot icon. Now let's check out the web version. We're gonna head over to copilot.microsoft.com. I'm gonna click on sign in, sign in with personal account. I'm now in Copilot's home screen. So we're now ready to explore Copilot in our desktop apps and in the web apps. In the next lesson, we're gonna kick it off by exploring the Copilot web app. I'll see you in the next lesson.